Hey, what's up guys? Malt here, and we got more messenger here. We just got to the glacial peak after a huge struggle on that last- oh. There's ice. There's ice. They're, they're, they're ice platforms. I probably should have realized that was gonna happen, and I'm dead. Because even though I just recorded that last episode, I forgot everything. That was the wrong button again. I keep pressing shuriken instead of uh, grapple hook and grapple hook instead of shuriken. I need that. Okay. Let's do it this time for real. That was just a prank. I did that on purpose. Okay? Remember that. My pranks are high quality and believable. See that? It wasn't even close. These freaking icy platforms, I swear. They will be the death of me. There is a secret over there. In regards to a grappling hook. And you know what? I'm never going to know what that is, because I don't know how to get there. Or do I? I don't. And I'm not, I'm not going to bother doing that and dying. That would suck. Maybe there's another way there. Who knows? Those things do not do a lot of damage against turtle guys. Save point! That's what I needed. Need anything? Let's talk. What do you want to chat about? I'm finally near the mountain summit. Looks like my adventure's about to come to an end. Clearly you haven't watched the trailer. Pardon? Never mind. Okay. I haven't watched the trailer. So I guess we're not near the end. Never mind. Hey, it's cold and slippery out there. Be careful. What do you want to chat about? Any stories to share? Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a village settled on the land of snow. Ice and snow. Food was scarce, but not and but not as much... What? Not as much heat? What? Hold on. Uh, there, elders spoke of a lush grove, safe, abundant, and with comfortable weather to boot. The only problem was the grove lay on the other side of a permanent hailstorm, which would have taken weeks to cross. One day, a brave couple left their young boy behind to attempt what the village called the trek. They would, they would scout out all, all the way to the grove and confirm its existence, then come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. Like all who attempted the trek before them, they sadly and predictably never came back. Over the following decades, that boy grew up with the only one goal in mind, to take on the trek himself and to find his parents alive at the grove or dead in the ice. Figuring they, figuring they may have been simply ill-prepared, he tra trained every day until all, he was five years older than his parents when they, when they left for the trek and he set off on his own attempt. The Hailstorm's first fight wasn't as bad as he thought it would be, but the ice-cold soil worked, slowly worked its way to its bones. After days of walking through the storm, with, storm without realizing it was just a metaphor playing out in his troubled young mind, he stumbled upon a no pun intended chilling sight. <laughs> his parents frozen in a block of ice. The shock was too strong, he remained there cursing, pondering, and cursing again until the cold took him to become part of the ice block. The end. What? What do you mean, what? No moral, or at least a proper ending? Sometimes stories can be harsh. It's, it's, uh, it might just be the very message they mean to convey about life. You need to think about what transpired and find your own takeaways. There are no wrong answers, as long as they ring true to you. Maybe, but this one really felt like a pointless story. And it just might be the case for you that- It might just be the case that for you it was. Or you could consider the implications of our adventurer being five years older than his parents when he found them. Can you imagine gazing upon those who are your protectors and mentors and realizing they're actually younger than you? Your bearers of truth, the wise ones, those who you aspire to be like? Harsh reality indeed, you thought they knew it all, had it all figured out, but they are all centered in that they were centered and filled with purpose, yet there you stand, beholding the one pillar you ever took for granted and used for stabil stability, physically crystallized, yet mentally shattered before your very eyes. Had they really found inner peace already when you knew them, meaning meaning you're the one that missed the mark, or were they simply the excellent actors? Food for thought, huh? Yes, that's enough. Remember, this is all subjective. I shared one line, but one angle. That actually was a lot to think about. 
Kind of cool. Thanks for that, shopkeeper. Huh. Okay, anyways. Back to this. How do I play this game? Why am I... Oh, I'm literally just sliding into the... Wait, why couldn't I jump here? That's why. That's a new mechanic that I gotta deal with. That's an old mechanic I have to deal with, which is my brain. Okay. Okay, listen. Okay? Alright. Okay, great. See that? All damage boosting, no skill. Meant to do that. Perfectly, uh, perfectly, perfectly done. Me. Very good. And there it is. Now we're at the next screen, and there's a guy shooting fireballs that go through walls and aiming them at me. And I only have two HP. Great. I'm so glad I... Fuck this guy! Holy shit! Please be a heal. Please be a heal. That's not gonna be a heal, is it? It's not a heal. Okay. Okay. So what am I gonna do here? There's two slidey boys, I have no shurikens. And there's also two stalactites. Three stalactites. And I have one HP. That's what I'm gonna do. And we're back here. And we're back here. And we're back here. We're back, we're back there. And now we're back here. Okay. That was good. That was pretty good so far. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious, dude? Please, man, just, just just give me this. Thank you. I'm really gonna die here again. Why did I why did I go back to try to kill that guy who was shooting fire? Why? Clearly my patience in this session is much lower than the last one. Alright, I came here with more HP than last time. Now let's see if this lasts. Here we go. Patience is a virtue. Bam! Just rush everything down. Spam attack. That's, now I remember how to play this game. I remember how to play this game, guys. This is what you're supposed to just constantly be doing the whole time. Because of how fast you can attack. Okay, great. Cool. See that? And we're back here. I'm gonna keep looping this forever. And then eventually I'll just die. And then we're gonna do that whole part again. That's what we're gonna do here. I'm seriously just gonna keep looping this part. Because it's so slippery all the time, it's much harder to do this every time I come back.
I... I just don't get it. I don't get it. Am I supposed to use this instead? Are you serious? Why is this so hard all of a sudden? I'm sure it's just me. I almost died right I almost died immediately. Okay, dude. That guy's not even sitting on the platform. He should have he should have fallen off, but he didn't. There he goes now. He fell off now. Oh, fireball! The fireball hit me that time. How am I gonna get past this part again? Really just gonna, it's just really just gonna do that to me this time. Sometimes, oh my god, thank you. That was like the most merciful thing it's done for me so far. That there wasn't though. That was. Gave me back my- look, those green guys aren't even here. Those green guys don't exist until you fall down. I was wondering about that. Wait a minute. Oh my god, what is this shit, huh? Can I do this? I can. That was probably the best thing I've done so far. Please, thank you, thank you. I deserve a save point after that. Okay, let's go. That was close. That was also close. All right. I just freaking button mashed that whole thing and I got it. But I don't know if I'm going to get it every time, because I have a feeling I'm going to game over before we do any of that again. Alright, I'm trying to be patient about it this time. Okay, okay, okay. What is that? What is that? I, I want to know what that is. Can I do anything with that, though? They're frozen. Never mind, I can't do anything with it, so whatever. Probably need something for that later. Wait, how did I... Oh, God. Oh, this is bouncy. How do I not get hit by that? I'm actually curious about that.
The spikes really hurt. How am I gonna get that guy? Okay. When in doubt, spam attack, right? Just gotta keep slowly carving my way forward. One little movement at a time. And then... Die. And then die. And then watch as everything goes worse this time around, because I don't have the luck, the luck anymore. Okay, I did that one on purpose this time. That one felt kind of good. I also did that on purpose. I feel like this part lasts just a bit too long. Just climbing the snow and hitting people. Just a little bit too long. You know what, maybe not. Maybe that was actually shorter than I remembered. Okay, that's fine. I made it back here pretty quickly. gonna leave him. Yep, that was worth leaving him for. That, I, I kind of want to do this. First try. Okay, let's go. So he the save point seemed to heal you for, um, for at least up to three. That's it. What is this? And what is that? What's the more obvious path? The left one, right? Yep, okay. Money, 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 money. Ooh. All right. Aight! Let's chill, let's chill. Woo woo. Alright, good. God, I hate ice levels so much. Slippery mechanics suck. This is kinda cool though, it's kinda weird to see a trampoline mechanic in the ice level. Thanks, game. Okay. Wait. Is that middle drop a good one? I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. I think that middle drop might be kinda good. Let me check. It's not. 
It's not good. It's not good. It's bad. That's a bad drop. Come on, let's make it to that boss. Let's make it to that boss. Whatever it is in this level. Alright. I don't know if that platform would have crushed me, but probably not. When in doubt, spam jump and attack over and over again. And fall off. Slippery. Slippy. Slippy. Slipper. Blue. 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 Honestly, it works like most of the time. And then, and then something happens every so often where you have to actually think about it. And then that happens. I keep missing this time. Okay, there we go. Alright, this time. I just had to go forward. I just had to go forward. But then I overthought it because I saw the enemy and I tried to try I tried to think about avoiding it. Which just led to my death. God damn it! Come on! Oh! Oh my god! Why did it work that time? I need that. Wait, am I actually supposed to do what I think I'm supposed to do here? I'm, I'm actually supposed to do that this time. I'm supposed to do the spamming that I've been practicing this whole time. Wait, these break freaking blocks? That could that could have been very useful to know earlier. Shit, I respawned one. I hate that camera roll. Now I respawn the other one. Um How about that? That's an unexpected enemy. Please stop. Thank you. Who is that? Oh no, I fought one of those before. Oh, is that a safe one I just hit? Wait, how do I fight these guys? You know what? I don't. That's what I do. Okay. Is this really just let's fight every single enemy in the game except with ice with an ice floor? Is that what this is right now? Because I'm starting to think it is! And I ain't falling for that shit! Alright? We ain't doing that shit here. We're just gonna avoid everything. Because fuck fighting things in an ice environment. Oh, that's this is optional. And I'm not gonna do it. Because I have one HP. Maybe I should do it. Oh! 
Okay. I, I could just easily go back now and do it. Alright, let's do it. Let me get that green coin, because it was literally right in front of my face. Hold on, I got I got a quite I got an answer for this guy. Bitch. Got him. I think I can just fall here and go back to the stage, but I'm not gonna do that. Wait, can I just break this? No, I can't. That's quick back. That's how I quickly get to the front. Okay. Speedrun strats. Speedrun strats. We call that the skip. The malt skip. It's where you unintentionally die. And then actually intentionally do it at the same time. See that? That's, uh, that's where you just don't do anything. It's a pretty uh, hardcore trick of mine. Nice! And then you just damage boost everything, and then you s and then you die. But you almost make it to the end, so you're ready for the next one. It's really the perfect crime. And then you reverse all your progress, you bounce back up, you make the same mistakes, you do that, and you very impatiently do that, and then you do some of those, and then bam, you're right there. Easy. Remember to keep swinging your sword, just in case there's any obstacles in the way. And then you get healed! And dang, there it is. And now you gotta wait for this shit, so you can get across. Nice. Oh, there we go. And then you land all the way back down here, and then you climb way back up. And then you barely hit the platform again. Nice. Alright, and then you hit that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, alright. So far, so good. Keep on rushing upwards. Doesn't matter if you miss any content. Actually, kind of does. Because then it gets a little bit harder. And you fall over here, kill that guy, even though you avoided him last time. And there it is. Oh, never mind. No, it isn't. Shit. Come on. Okay, stay on, stay on, stay on. Come on. Nice. And then you're here, at the summit, the place you've been trying to get to the entire episode. Final. Um. We're not touching about our shopkeepers away. I never realized there's an octopus monster here. You really thought it would be that easy. What? I told you already, the cabinet is off-limits. Please stop. We're not doing a special edition of the cabinet rant. I mean it. Don't be that guy. You're being that guy. Fine, be that guy. Ten. Nine. Uh-oh. Eight. Please don't kill me. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Crazy how countdowns give the feeling something is about to happen, huh? But yeah, I got nothing. If you're hoping for something special, just sh give up the cabinet thing already. The cool stuff's up ahead. Did I ever tell you about the guy who stayed late on a Friday night and started writing optional dialogue to add comedic value to those who had bothered looking? Imagine reading his ramblings. By the way, if you feel like the cabinet thing is overdone at this point, I agree, but it's totally on you for keeping on trying to open it. I actually, this is the first time I tried to open it since the beginning. 
Seriously, you can stop this right now. I mean it, you have the power. Only you can put an end to this optional bit. Which is good, because I got things to do. If I repeat the same thing three times, will you think I'm out of flavor text? We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. I can't believe you. Why won't you move on to something productive? <laughs> like maybe advancing the quest you're supposed to care about. I'm not gonna lie, though. When the time comes, opening the cabinet will blow your mind. And I'm confident in saying this. And even though I know you'll be expecting a surprise... Even though, uh, how, how do you surprise someone who's expecting a surprise? With the meta plot twist, that's how. Now, if you want to know what it is, move on already. I promise it's the fastest way. You're not opening that, that until the script says you get to anyway. Okay, I'll start looping back to the beginning now. You really thought it would be that easy. I told you already the cabinet's off limits. Please stop. Come on, that was a good trick. But how are you still trying to open this? I thought you would give up when it looked like I was looping. <laughs> if you keep doing that, you will have to sit through a boring terrain. It will be boring and philosophical. I'm even going to remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. Fine, here's some insights from Jordan the Wise for you. Life is going to come at you hard, so there are a few things you should know. Most important of all is realizing that you have to something to offer the world. But in order to do that, you first need to sort yourself out. Lending your ear to the lessons contained in the story of old is not a bad place to start. You see, as humans conscious, human conscience grows in knowledge, it equally grew in arrogance. We seem to be at a point at this point where the value of stories is lost on us all. Not really caring about morals anymore, we are simply looking to be entertained. But their power on subconscious is not means hind by is by no means hindered by intellectual pride. Stories send a clear message to our being, and when told properly, can offer guidance in how to live our lives, impacting us in ways we sometimes we don't even notice. In fact, recurring themes more often than not represent archetypes contain and contain lessons on how to and not how not to behave. Consider dragons for a moment. Fantasy stories always seem to have them hoarding treasure. Not coincidentally at all, two of the biggest innate fears in mammals are f fire and reptiles. So dragons are really a metaphor representing that which you fear the most. Now, why would an immortal fire-breathing reptile care to sleep on a pile of gold? The answer can be read between the lines. The treasure you seek is guarded by your greatest fear. Don't get me wrong, the pile of gold is as much of metaphor here as a mighty beast that doesn't even exist. Find your dragon and slay it, then your treasure will be revealed. This is the wisdom storytellers of old were trying to convey, only they don't they didn't have the scientific method, a framework to which to to which to structure arguments or even a high IQ audience. The lesson isn't any important or relevant to today, however. That which you most dis need to discover within yourself is, d is hidden when you least want to look. Now ask yourself, why were you so curious about my cabinet? Are you a very conscientious person, adamant on leaving no stones unturned? Or have you not mastered your insecurities and the fear of missing out is what's really driving you here at this moment? Maybe you are simply hoping to get a laugh out of some unexpected one-liner? Because I'll admit, we both know I could kill the mood right now and tell you about how a depressed clown once attempted to lift his mood by eating bowls of confetti. What I'm getting at here is regardless of your motive, and uh, regardless of your motive here, you have clearly demonstrated curiosity and faith that the world holds surprise for those who take an honest look. Well, that can certainly be said about the world, it's even more true about your inner self. Now, whether that is scary, insightful, or encouraging depends entirely on how far you have made it in your personal growth journey. Life is made of many exams, most of which will present themselves to you more than once. Betrayal, joy, illness, adventure, treason, cooperation, purpose, loneliness, warmth, loyalty. Indeed, just like stories old and new, life has recurring themes while when testing humans. The pro important part is not whether you, it's not whether or not you pass each test, but that you show up, acknowledge your score, and ponder how it can inform you on who you become, uh, form who you should become. From there, everything there is there inside of you to help you find your own way. Who knows, the underlying meaning of the messenger story might even hit you eventually. But for now, let's get back to your adventure. You really you really thought it'd be that easy? I told you already the cabinet's off limits. Please stop. Okay, so you actually looked this time. I'm pretty sure you actually looked this time. I really hope you actually looked this time and I didn't miss anything. But cool. I don't know what's coming up next. He's mi He was missing for some reason. And uh, I don't know what that means. I think something big is about to happen. And you know what? We'll save that for the next episode. I think that ramble was a good way to end this one off. So thank you guys so much for watching. We made it one way or another. Rage and all.
but we made it, and we're going to keep going. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please leave a like down below. It helps me a lot. Subscribe for more. It helps me a lot. It helps me support me. And also, leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys think, and tell me about how bad I am, because that's actually very important, too. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!